I'm certainly ready to fall in love. Without ever seeing his face. The scariest thing is that these people are all real. Oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 weirdest reality shows. For this list, we're looking at television shows that either purposely focus on weird subject matter or are inadvertently odd shows to watch. I'm definitely hotter than you. In Get alive! I'm hotter than no. you! However, we're excluding reality series that feature dramatic reenactments like I didn't know I was pregnant. I saw her the night before and she looked absolutely normal. <laughs> you have to call 911! Go! Call 911! Number 10. Extreme Cheapskates. It's time to go dumpster diving. There's cutting corners and then there's this. This show introduces us to the most extreme penny pinchers in America by showing us the tremendous cost-saving methods they resort to in their everyday lives. You can reuse the paper towel many times. Why pay to throw something away? Better than I can get it for free. Among others, we meet a woman who washes her clothes while showering, a couple who shares deodorant, and a woman who gets her husband to perform dentistry on her. Nervous? A little. But I know I'm in good hands. If you want to feel good about your finances, this show is a must-watch. We're so cheap that we share our tooth floss. There you go. Number 9. Flavor of Love Yo, check one, two. I'm Flavor Flav. And me, I'm known as the greatest hype man in the music business. If Flavor Flav's ego ever needed a boost, this show provided it. Just like The Bachelor, every season multiple women would compete to be Flav's partner, with some being voted off every week. Put you on the blast because you really ain't trying to be here with my ass. You ain't failing Flav. With help from his mom, bodyguard, chauffeur, and ex, Flav was supposed to pick the woman he wanted to be with by the end of the season. The dating game show was a rating success, but ended after three seasons. Just cause you here tonight, bitch, you won't be here to the end of the show cause everybody up here look better than you. Your ass is sagging, your shoes is f***ed up, the highlights is f***ed up too. Flav didn't even end up dating or marrying any of the female contestants, who had to take on different challenges to win dates with the rapper. Get Instead, he wound up marrying the mother of his seventh child in a reunion episode. You know that I just should have really just been noticing what I had in my face all the time. Number eight, Vanilla Ice Goes Amish. I'm Vanilla Ice, and I'm going Amish, baby! Ice, ice, baby, all right. We go from one rapper dressing in um, an interesting way to one joining the plainest dressing people on the planet. Oh, this place is awesome. Okay, yeah, we'll give it that. Oh, one more thing. All right. Uh, some vanilla ice cream. All right, I can do Oh, it. yes. In this show, 90s rapper Vanilla Ice joins the Amish as he learns to craft buildings by hand. It's called a ninja stick. Okay. Ninja stick will take down walls. A home renovator himself. Ice had to learn to fix things without the power tools he usually relies on. Melvin's place doesn't have any electricity, so I'm powering the paint sprayer off of a gas-powered generator. And before you get worried, no, he doesn't rap in this. Ice man, to fill my wish, you go swim with the fish. Oh, you got it now, look at you. <laughs> Number seven, hotter than my daughter. They said about you that you just look like you came off stage at a strip club. That's all right. Because you know, the girls that work in them clubs are kind of hot, aren't they? If you think your mom is embarrassing, check out these ones. Well, I'm definitely hotter than my daughter. The clothes that my mom wears is inappropriate. She needs to dress more like a mom. I'm not out. My God. Hotter Than My Daughter is hosted by former Atomic Kitten and official hot person Liz McLarnon. The idea behind the show was to focus on the strange and strained relationships that mothers and daughters can have especially when the mom thinks that she's all that and more. What is wrong with you? She's had her boobs on twice, and she's now a double D. <laughs> Don't you think that's embarrassing? Definitely worth watching if you're into exploring parent-child relationship dynamics of the unconventional variety, or if you just want to check out older women. Sometimes I go on a night out and my mom gets more attention than I do. I don't know how or why. Number six, my big fat American gypsy wedding also known as Gypsy Brides U.S. Let's get this gypsy wedding on a roll! Woo! 
Fresh off the success of the British show My Big Fat Gypsy Wedding, this American spin-off took things stateside. I just don't know if I'm going to be able not to kill his mom first. A look at the culture and traditions of the American Roma people, this show focused on their wedding ceremonies in particular. Well, obviously. Full of odd moments and strange characters, the reality series offered a look into how a different group of people celebrates life's biggest milestones. But she won't be weighed down for long. Her dress has a special feature. And yes, things get very weird. Just have a look for yourself. Oh my lord. Oh my god. That is gorgeous. Gypsy all the way. She got you blinging okay, from man. head to toe. Well, I love it. Number five, extreme cougar wives. I don't pursue younger men. Younger men pursue me. If you like older women, this list is the one for you. Released after Hotter Than My Daughter and in America rather than Britain, this program featured older women with a penchant for younger men. I like dating younger men because they're trainable. <laughs> they're like a dog, like getting a brand new puppy. You tell them to catch a bone, sit down, they do it. They don't give you an argument, they're not set in their way. How old could the women get? Well, one of the recurring characters was 89. How about that? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> How young are the men? Well, one is 37 years the junior of his partner. I think that sex keeps everyone young. It's the feel-good drug. I mean, we're up to Stephanie. She'd be having sex, sex three times a day. I would not. We don't have enough time. If you've got the hots for Betty White, this special broadcast would certainly be your sort of thing. I don't think of myself as an older woman. I think of myself as me. Number four, dating naked. I've never been naked with a girl within 10 minutes of meeting someone. About an hour, maybe. <laughs> Probably not a show for the shy. This program strips, if you will, all the complications of dating away. I'm Candace. Hey, Candace. I'm butt naked. <laughs> Each episode follows a man and a woman as they go to a paradise-like location. Once there, they go on a series of dates with various people. The catch is that they and all their suitors are completely naked throughout the whole date. <laughs> Marcus hit the nail on the head with fun, spontaneous, and wild. A show that gets right to the point. It's definitely a strange and often awkward watch. I was dumb for like some like bush chick with no boobs who's ugly in the face. Like just like, you know, it's like kind of hurtful when like you think you found that and then apparently like they go off and they hook up with someone else. Number three, my strange addiction. I'm absolutely addicted to sleeping with my blow dryer. I don't want anybody telling me that I can't use it. If you thought addictions were limited to alcohol, drugs, and sex, you were wrong. My Strange Addiction showcases all the most unusual addictions and dependencies people may have. In one sitting, I've eaten up to about 30 bullets. Mentally, bullets are a little more stimulating than the glass. Some are simply odd, like eating toilet paper and marrying a doll. Some are more dangerous, like eating glass and bleaching skin. But the most important thing is that a lot of them are very, very entertaining. And the show is maybe even addictive? Definitely strange, the show also managed to find enough strange addictions to stay on the air for several seasons. Smoke another one, Dan. Nothing happened. Stop eating my light bulb. <laughs> Matt, why are you doing okay, that? Because there's no silverware. Okay. Number two, Amish Mafia. This is the biggest step of faith that I've ever taken. This is me literally walking off the edge of a cliff. It's the Amish again. You and your fake Amish Get out of here. I don't know if I'll see him again. I whipped him pretty good. Reality TV producers must love these guys. We've already seen Vanilla Ice chilling with the Amish, but there's also Breaking Amish and Amish in the City. A chance to experience the outside world for the very first time. But the weirdest has got to be Amish Mafia. The Amish church denies the existence of this mafia, but this show follows the adventures of Lebanon Levi and his three assistants who claim they're part of organized crime. Did you get the money? I won't give the money back. The first rule of Amish aid is to protect the community at all costs, especially from the English. So you're just gonna take no for an answer? In a community that doesn't trust the police, Levi acts as a peacekeeper, trying to ensure that justice and morality prevail all while trying to keep to the practices of their traditionalist Christian beliefs. You would never suspect a pigeon to be a drug dealer, unless you're Amish. Yeah, this is... this is 
is not good. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Well, thank you for a lovely evening. Thank you. It's been fun. Oh, sounds good. Mwah. This show is the perfect experience because it's really going to help me figure out do I really like a guy or do I really like a girl? Let's face it, sometimes getting a haircut can be a little erotic. They're rubbing your head, they're giving you a nice shampoo, it feels good. I'd rather have that done by a girl I, I want to look at. Do you feel now <coughs> that you could do anything having done this? I think we could just take on the challenge, no problem. Can oh, I reckon yes. so, yeah. 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 I'd yeah. naked Fridays. Backstab you don't de You don't deserve to be here. You better freaking sleep with your eye open, bitch. Plotting against each other. Who the f are you voting for? Don't try to vote me out of this house and think that we're going to be friends. I'm f dominant. Like, they don't want to be in this f house. What the f is wrong with these people? Number one, naked and afraid. You, the weirdest thing I've ever done. We just can't do anything with our clothes on, can we? Actually, this show is quite different from Naked Dating. Hi, how you doing? How's it going? Nice to meet you. I'm Billy. I'm Kai. Hi. Nice good to, to meet, meet you. you. I uh, see you're naked. <laughs> yeah, I know. While this documentary-style reality TV series strips its contestants completely naked and leaves them in the wilderness, it doesn't focus on romance. Surprisingly, worms have amazing protein value. They're, you know, a handful of worms is equal to a cheeseburger. The idea here is that the contestants have to survive with no help and no clothes in the wild for 21 days. I'm naked in the land of venomous snakes. Can you stop reminding me? Provided with one personal item and no prize except honor, what a ripoff, this show has become such a hit that even celebrities like Seth Rogen and James Franco have made an appearance albeit on a special spoof episode. Let's just get all the looking out of the way right now, okay. and that way we can just, just soak it in. Boom, out of the way. Do you agree with our list? Looks really good. What do you think is the weirdest reality show? For more weird top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. So, I'm already rocking out with my out the whole time. <laughs>